Well, hello there, Geminis. Happy midweek Wednesday to each and every one of you all, Geminis. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all are having a great week so far, Geminis. I know you are because you're setting those intentions, right? Of course. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Geminis. Here we have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Seven of Wands. We have the Hierophant card. We have the Hangman. We have the Star card and the Emperor card. Source is saying get as far away from overthinking and talking about energies that have hurt you in the past. Source is saying hang in there. You're not delusional. You are a bright light in dark spaces. You know, you have an innate spiritual of understanding. You are a leader. And so now it's time for you to stop caring so much about what people think about you and trying to be everybody's friend and start being the leader that you are, you know. You care more about being respected than liked, but it doesn't mean that you're going about life being, you know, mean spirited or like a jerk. Well, I got to show everybody I have this power, you know, that kind of thing. Right. So I see you sitting down somewhere and see this right here. This is your solar plexus chakra, you know, taking some kind of action to say, OK, I will stay away from conversations as it relates to certain things in my past that hurt me where I felt like. You know, I should have closed out cycles before. I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm not going to keep communicating about it. And actually, your ruling planet Mercury is retrograde right now. And so we know, obviously, planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace. But it gives you an opportunity to kind of slow down and think about some things, right? So that's what Source wants you to do is, like, really slow down and start thinking about some things. You get a lot of information coming in. Somebody has on blindfolds, you know. Somebody was wearing blindfolds, which just could have caused... You know, like shutting down about somebody that you love or care about or loved or cared about, right? And that's what caused a lot of the lamenting is because somebody just didn't want to see something. That source just kept saying, take your blindfolds off. I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to show you something about two energies in particular, right? The number two is all about relationships. And so when you see eight of pentacles here, source is basically telling you something. And two energies could be a job and a person. It could be two people. It could be a person and a thing. It could be a place and a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like two situations in particular. But source is saying to you, now that you have an innate spiritual understanding about things, stay away from talking about certain things. Like some people, I mean, let's just call it for what it is. Some people are just sneaky. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I, there's no other way I can say it. Some people are just, you know, sometimes you don't want to believe it, but some people are just sneaky. They, they wait to see. That's why I always tell people, pay attention to the symbols of people's Zodiac signs. Okay. Doesn't mean that just because they have an animal for a Zodiac sign that they're going to act like an animal, but, but here's a key. This is just, something, you know, just, just something for you to pay attention to Gemini's. So there's only a few signs that have humans as signs, right? You, Aquarius, Virgo has this, the the um, Virgo has the uh, the the Virgin, Sagittarius kind of half man, half horse, but so we're not gonna count that. But pay attention to zodiac sign symbols because if they don't know what their light, their light, their um, creative life force and their purpose is they are going to react like that, just like that animal, that symbol. Somebody may challenge it and say, well, I'm a, a cross watcher may challenge it. But listen, I've been doing this for a long time. Pay attention to that. Like pay attention to these symbols for these zodiac signs. And so yours are two upright people, twins, right? So you're very, very smart, you know, signs. Um, the other smart sign is Libra. They, uh, it's a, it's a scales of justice, the balance, right? A peaceful warrior sign. Pay attention to the, the, pay attention to, you know, anything that's other than human, you know, anything that's other than human, upright human, right? Pay attention to that, right? Bottom line is that source is saying, here's the number two again. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to uh, welcome some new opportunities with open arms, where there's new love, new opportunities for, you know, making, uh, getting customers, new opportunities, just new opportunities. It's time for you to stay away from talking about, because the communicating about it is breathing life into something, right? And certain energies that you moved on from, because they may not have known what their purpose was. They just responded like responded like in an animalistic way, like in terms of not being able to control 
their sex drive, not being able to control their emotions, not being able to control certain things. Gemini, you want to pay attention to that. So instead of you lamenting over something, that may make somebody go, hmm, okay, I didn't look at it that way. So why am I lamenting over this? When somebody who didn't know their purpose in life, they just, you know, acted like they reacted to something, right? Here we have the Ace of Cups. So Source wants you to toss out all of that bitterness and all of that and refill your own water. And when we're refilling your own water, that number five right here means it's a pivotal point in your life. Refilling your own water is, um, refilling your own water is, um, like doing things that you love to do for you, like nurturing your own spirit. So that means, Hey, you know what? I feel like I've been overthinking something and talking about something too long. This King of Swords is saying you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge about situations. And so now it's time for you to move on from it. Here we have judgment. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands and also the Six of Wands. And I see you victoriously moving on. I see you focusing on breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. I see you um, Three of Wands, Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and Six of Wands. All this Wands energy, Source is saying to you, you know, I see you feeling happy, charismatic, and free. I see you feeling victorious, kind of like back in the saddle again, possibly even dating again. Here we have the Page of Pentacles. I see new money coming across your path because you have all of these ideas and your charisma. Your you feel you're you're feeling free from something because you're getting away from it, like getting away from talking about something, overthinking something, and move, taking some action to move on from some things. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference in the world when you sit down and you start thinking about hmm. Why am I getting upset over something again? Like what, you know, when people who don't know their purpose, they, I mean, tell me people walking around here lost, completely lost, don't know what their purpose is, don't know what their light is, don't know how to find their light. They're getting upset over circus clowns. They're getting upset over people who acting like they literally in a zoo. Getting upset with what? Right? So there it is. Spend time with animals. It's time for you to spend time with animals. They just, they're reactive. They're in survival mode. And I'm not saying, I, I trust me, before this card came out, I was not saying this to try to be funny. You didn't hear me laugh, no nothing, because it's a very serious matter when you don't know what you're leaving behind. What, like, for instance, if you, if somebody's symbol is a bull, a bull just is just very, very stubborn. It does not move. It's just like carefully grazing. It's like it's using its size. Like, you know, that's where that term bullying came from. Until you put a fire up under it, then you fa like made a fatal mistake. That thing is charging after you like, you know, like a, um, until it, it hits you with those horns. It's like, okay, okay, like it says, stop itself, right? It's just dead set on its target, right? But source is saying, if you're in relationship with people who just, you know, or they ramming through something, you know, just like, you know, just reactive, you know, you know, rams a sheep, right? But those horns, right? So they may feel like, okay, somebody took advantage of me one too many times. When I get angry and I start getting those split hooves together, I'm start just charging something, Source is saying, start paying attention to things like you all are way too smart. You love to learn, you know, and, um, and then also look, pull your birth chart, find out exactly what's in your birth chart. See what, what, and how you may have responded to things based on your Zodiac sign in that particular, you know, in your birth chart. Like if your moon sign is a, you know, a sign where the symbol is an animal, have you emotionally responded like that? Cause you didn't know what your purpose was. You didn't know exactly what nurtured you. Find out exactly what nurtures your spirit. Nothing is by coincidence. Here we have make an altar. Make an, make an altar to your ancestors so that source can give you some answers. Somebody is learning. Somebody is definitely learning. You know, when you study the, the symbols, you know, the, the symbolism of animals, the symbolism of, you know, these planets and things like that, why you are the way that you are. As a, as a Gemini, you're ruled by Mercury, the planet of, it's a messenger planet and communication planet, but it's also the planet of learning and knowledge, right? So as you start to learn more and you start absorb, you, absorbing, you know, information about things other than gossiping about something, like, like literally learn some information about some stuff to say, okay, before I enter into another relationship, business relationship, since we have the two of swords here, I'm, I'm walking in with my blindfolds off. I already know if this person doesn't know what's good, this is how they're going to react to things. If they don't know what their purpose on, on this planet is, this is how they're going to react to things, right? Know this, learn this, invite help, invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God pursue me. 
Because somebody is like spinning their wheels, overthinking something, burning themselves out. Invite help. Source, help me with this. Why can't I stop talking about it? How come every time I think about it, I get this angry and frustrated? It'll help you heal a lot quicker when you know what your purpose is and you know about the people that you've dated in the past. But you know what people automatically go to? I'm looking at their family. That they the way they are because look what kind of family they came from. Yeah, that's part of it. That was part of the influence. But why do they react the way that they react? Because their family is not their only influence. Or people go to somebody's mom or somebody's dad, but their mom was this way. They got the wrong kind of relationship with their mom. Why do they act? Their mom has some influence. Their dad has some influence. The teacher that they, their third grade teacher has some influence. The friends they, you know, uh, 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 friendships they, they formed, you know, in uh, other parts of their lives influence. But why are they the way that they are? Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Stone circle, 39. In ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into thyself. People don't necessarily like to hear, you know, wow, this symbol is an animal. Like they, they look at it as like a symbol of pride. Oh yeah. When we get mad, we do X, Y, and Z. Pay attention to all of that, right? Pay attention to all of that. Like, you know, since we have Aquarius up here, Aquarius is symbol is an upright human being. It's a water bearer. It's an air sign. It's one of your sister signs, but it's a water bearer, right? But the symbol that is ruled by two planets is ruled by Saturn, which is a very serious planet. It's a planet of authority and maturity, but it's also structure, rules, whatever. Then you got Uranus, which is the wild card. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's why Aquarius march to the beat of their own drum. They don't have a problem cutting people off. They just move on. They just like move on. Like I ain't thinking about it. I'm just moving on, right? Pay attention to all of those things. Pay attention to all of those things. But any person, even if it's a, another Gemini, if it's another Gemini who does not know what their purpose is on the planet, you know, they may be a, a super gossiper. They may go in and be spinning their wheels, looking at um, researching the wrong things, going online, pulling people's background, doing background checks and all that. When it's simple as seeing how, see how people react to things, if they don't know what their life purpose is. It also helped change the game when you think about, okay, if you're dealing with a person who is lying about somebody else and they know what their purpose is, but who was telling a lie, they may not know their purpose. So they may sitting around and say, well, I know this person. I, I dated this person or, or I, I'm related to this person. They don't know their purpose, but the person they're talking about knows their purpose. What you going to trust? You're going to trust your inner voice first and foremost, but you can also recognize, okay, this person don't even know. It's like me, like, like following a person that's walking around with blindfolds on. Anyway, bottom line is, you know, source is saying, get away from talking about certain things that's, that's causing you burnout and invite help from source. Invite help from source. Source, help me. Help me see what I'm not seeing, source, please. Number 20. There's that number two again. Two is a relationship number and zero is a zero, uh, God number. I am harmonious. You relate to others in an almost cosmic level, Gemini. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships with all other kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. Yep. You'd be surprised at the people who, you know, spend years thinking that they're dealing with a reliable source, but the reliable source is walking around with blindfolds on and don't even know what their life purpose is. All they can tell you is what their job title is or how much money they make or who they work for, what, what organizations they belong to. But they have no clue as to why they're here on planet Earth. They have zero clue whatsoever. Affirmations for productivity. I focus on projects aligned with my long-term goals. I move away from disturbances. That's what this is. I walk toward focus. I summon my attention to all that is crucial to my success. I take breaks to avoid burnout. I'm grateful for my work. I release tension. I allow my mind to move into a state of flow. That's right, Gemini's. You all are too smart to deal with people who don't know where they're going. Get laser focused. Get as far away from people who don't know where they're going at all. Some people, they have to almost be struck by a bolt of lightning before they understand, like, what the heck? And they keep getting struck. by. They keep having tower moments until they figure out, oh, shoot, I have a purpose here on this planet other than ruining people's lives. So that's what I have for you. Um, and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.